Hi Pisces, welcome to your love reading for the end of February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Pisces, this has to be a um, connection you believe you have with somebody. You do have to know each other at least. You don't necessarily have to be together. So please keep that in mind. And this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You may have Pisces in any of those placements. Don't have to have them in all. And if you don't know your birth chart, there's a link below in the description box to get your free birth chart. So if you want to check that out. So welcome Pisces, welcome in. Let's see what's going on with Pisces at this time in love. Now I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links are below in the description box for your love and general playlist. So you can check that out if you like to. And also um, the decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that information is below. And I will also pin some of that information to the top comment in the comment section. So Pisces. So with this deck here, Zodiac deck, we get sign, element, or planet. Let's see uh, what could be in your energy around you, somebody you may be dealing with. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. As like I say with any reading, only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If this is not fitting to you or making sense to you, then it is not your reading. So please don't try to make it fit. I would say hold out for the next reading or go back and watch uh, past playlists or check out other signs in your chart. Okay, so we have the sun energy so you could be dealing with a leo if not the sun energy is all about you your identity your origin originality who you are what makes you you uh, kind of energy so you could be just becoming into your own energy uh realizing who you are what you are what your soul purpose is what your mission is what you want in life um and really you know getting into that energy and you know the sun always represents in the tarot you know, success, victory, um, healing, happiness, joy, victory, enlightenment, happy home and family. I mean, everything positive with the sun energy. But it also is the sun, your sun sign, obviously it's Pisces, but the sun also makes you who you are, your identity, your originality, and all of that kind of energy, what makes you you. So I feel like you could be really getting in your like higher power energy. And the sun um, is all is masculine energy, so um, maybe some of you could be masculines watching this. You don't necessarily have to be a male masculine. You can be a feminine, getting more in tune with more in tune with your masculine side. So maybe some of you are getting more in tune with your masculine side, for some of you. But you no, know, this is a love reading, so we'll see how that plays in. I mean, you could be like I said, dealing with a Leo, have Leo in your chart. I know somebody has Leo in their chart. All right, so and the sun is also, you know, very fiery, passionate energy. So let's see what's going on here for you, Pisces. So with this deck here, first thing I will do is get an uh, energy for you and whoever you're thinking of at this time. So we have awaiting results. So this is a seven of pentacles energy. So you're in the energy of awaiting results of something between you and your person. This is about investments, uh, assessing kind of energy, um, and looking things over, pros and cons, and just assessing a whole situation of some kind. So seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So awaiting results between you and your person, something. So what I'm going to do now, um, Pisces, is I'm going to put you on this side your person on this side, but if any time you feel like the um, roles are reversed or the energies need to be switched, please do that throughout the reading. So I'm going to pull one for you and your person, how you're feeling about each other, how you're feeling about the connection, whoever you're thinking about at this time, Spirit, please, for Pisces. Thank you so much. So we get one for you. Let's get one for your person, whoever you're thinking of. Feeling that one. So we have master. So this is the devil energy. <sighs> so that's your energy. So this could be toxic energy. It could be addictions, obsessions, fear, uh, low self-esteem, um, anxiety, stress, a uh, very passionate um, connection with somebody that's just like a lot of lust energy. 
Oh boy, so let's see what your person has. So your person has the crown chakra, which is seven, again, with the divinely guided spiritual energy. Crown chakra is all about enlightenment, listening to your gut, your intuition, becoming uh, spiritually connected with the universe and all that kind of energy, and really being in tune, in touch with your higher being, your, your higher knowing, your gut, your intuition, and that kind of energy. Hmm. So your person is becoming very enlightened about something here and really listening to their gut and intuition. And you're trying to master some sort of energy, toxic energy or negative energy. Like I said, it could be low self-esteem. It could be just being in a negative, low vibrational energy, uh, fear, doubt, anything here. So I want to clarify with the tower. So let's see what's on the bottom. But we do have soulmate energy here with the Six of Cups. So this is um, the lover, uh, not, not the Six of Cups, this is the lovers. So this is soulmate energy here. So what's going on here, Pisces? So you're awaiting results about something, but your person's enlightened now and you're trying to master some sort of low vibrational energy. But we do have soulmate energy here, so oh boy, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Let's get some tarot to clarify this energy. Clarify this energy. Yeah, we need clarification on this one <laughs> for Pisces. I do want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Those those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have sent a gift, tipped, donated. Thank you so much for all your support. We're almost at ten thousand subscribers. Something about doing something special for 10,000 subscribers. So stay tuned for that. So thank you, everybody. Okay, Pisces. What's going on with this devil energy for Pisces? Pisces. Why does Pisces... That's too many. That's like a pump of five. I'm on a couple here for Pisces. That's three. For Pisces, please. Two of Pentacles. And the two of swords. Wow. So this is uh, being indecisive and just juggling around a lot here in your mind, uh, on your plate, in life, in general, what, here, just and being indecisive about something. I feel like, because this could be the two of swords about needing to make a decision about something and juggling around what decision you should make. Like you don't know what to do and you're trying to and that could be that devil energy about the soulmate relationship. What do we do? You know, and this person could be waiting for you to make a decision about this, about this connection. And I feel like you just can't do it. So maybe you're a very indecisive person. Like you can't make up your mind. You always need others, other people's advice. Uh, two cents, <laughs> two cents. I feel like maybe, you know, you just, it's like you, you, you're not self-sufficient enough. Like you can't always make up your own mind and like you need others to help you. And this person's waiting. They're waiting. They, they, I think they've made up their mind because they got the crown chakra. They listen to their gut and their intuition. And uh, they know, but they're waiting for you to make a choice. So let's see. Why is the crown chakra here for your person? The five of wands and the sun. Wow. So the five of wands can be about conflict, but this is the after tarot. So this is uh, after the conflict, like just coming to a truce. So getting over the conflict. So this could be getting over conflict and now wanting happiness, joy, success, victory uh, here, happy home and family. Healing, enlightenment, enlightenment, seven of uh, the crown chakra, enlightenment. So your person is definitely enlightened about something here. They don't want to fight anymore. They know what their happiness and joy is, where it lies. And uh, they don't want fighting conflict anymore, but yet they're waiting for you to make a decision. And I think they're leaving it up to you this time. They want you to make it, this decision on your own. It's like they're not... Uh, they're not going to butt in because maybe that just causes conflict. And I think you're very having a very hard time deciding what to do with this connection. 
Oh boy, what's going on here? So where is this going? Is this about moving a relationship forward? Is it about ending a relationship? What's going on? Definitely could have been soulmates here at one time. There definitely was love at one time. So, yeah. So, okay. So you could be married to this person with the Hierophant here. You could have, you know, tried to work this out for a very long time with the Eight of Pentacles energy. But now we got the Ten of Swords right in the middle of the spread. So this is about um, an ending. So you, <laughs> this is about a painful, hurtful ending. It doesn't have to be painful or hurtful, or it could be, but it's just about an ending. So, and that's connecting the two of you. So this is about ending a relationship. You know, and maybe... Maybe, you know, deep down, you still kind of want to work on it. Or you're working hard here to try to come to a decision about ending this uh, commitment or marriage of some kind. I think your person is no longer conflicted. They know where their happiness lies and what they want moving forward. You see, like, kind of moving forward. <clears throat> and they're waiting for you to decide about this for some reason. So let's get a few more here. Magician. So this is about manifesting a brand new beginning. So your person's ready to venture out and manifest a brand new beginning for themselves. So it could be just being independent, career, just starting a whole new life um, independently. They're ready to manifest something new here, manifest some, you know, their life forward. But they're waiting on you here to make a decision. And I feel like with that eight of pentacles, it's like you like <laughs> trying to figure out what to do here. The tower, yeah. So, yeah, they've had a big epiphany, a realization with the tower. It could, I mean, it could be a, definitely a breakdown, shakedown. They know, like, this connection has exploded. They've been totally enlightened now. They've had that tower moment. There's been a tower moment in this connection, which was love and soulmate at one time. But I feel like now it's all blown apart now, and they know that. But they're ready to go out on their own manifest a whole new bring it beginning for themselves they're they know exactly what they want moving forward and they're just waiting on you here to work it out to make your decision about this moving forward because definitely right in the middle here is the ending here of the situation oh, okay so let's get advice for you pisces in this connection King of Swords. Yeah, you need to really, really think clearly about this with the King of Swords energy. This is about thinking clearly, open, honest, truthful communication, cutting away things no longer serving you, telling it like it is, not taking any BS. This also, Swords, King, Queen, especially the Ace, always reminds me of divine universal energy. So really pay it, you know, listen. Maybe you need to spend some quiet time alone. Maybe you also need to connect to your higher being, your intuition, and that universal guidance to kind of help you make this decision. Because there is sad, loss, loneliness here, uh, hurt here in this situation. I th feel like you're looking back at the Two of Cups energy, like this once was six, of, uh, this is the lovers, but I thought it was the Two of Cups, but... You know, once was kind of like a two of cup energy, but now, you know, all the cups are spilled out. Everything's, you know, spilled out of the cup. So there's really not any more love in this situation. You kind of know that with the King of Swords, but yet you're hesitant about making a decision about this. No, we got two here. So we got the Page of Wands and we got the Seven of Pentacles. So that's double confirmation here of the Seven of Pentacles. So yeah. They're definitely waiting for you to send them some news about the situation, knowing there's no more love. No, it is sad about, you know, it's kind of a sad situation, but there needs to be truth, truth, clarity, honest communication with the King of Swords, definitely. So you need to make up your mind here so you can communicate to them, send them the news, what they're waiting for. So, I mean, I feel like you, so you can both move on with your lives instead of being stuck in this energy. Because if you don't, the universe may came, come in with a tower moment here that may make things worse. 
may blow this apart even more and I don't think you really want that so all right so let's see let's see here possible outcome of this situation for you Pisces nine of swords yeah stress worry fear anxiety and the ace of wands so fiery passionate new beginning here uh and the chariot so moving forward with success with success balance victory drive ambition and you see like the the licit here and the licit here so i feel like And this kind of reminds me of fire energy. Um, and that's that sun energy. So, I mean, you could be dealing with the fire sign, but I feel like um, you need to slay this dragon, <laughs> this like whole situation. Because I do see if you also, if you both move forward in life, there are new, exciting, adventurous endeavors, relationships, whatever here, that you'll be very fiery, excited, and passionate about. And bring a lot of balance and it'll move forward with success, success and victory so you need to move this forward um, to get over the stress fear and anxiety so I mean you may slay the dragon here and you'll be able to move on from this and have a brand new beginning for yourself in some way it could be a new love or it could be just in life and you know feeling very fiery and passionate about life again be, instead of being stuck in this all this energy here it's just whoopsie i'm even uh <laughs> messing up my cards so yeah i feel like uh yeah you definitely need to oh my goodness get out of this mess <laughs> i'm making a mess here you need to get out of this mess whatever this mess is it's keeping you stuck in a low vibrational toxic energy feeling caged and trapped here Oh boy. Okay. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. See the devil. So confirmation of the devil here. So you're not in a good place anyway. You're feeling like you're trapped, you're caged, uh, low vibrational energy, stress, worry, fear, anxiety, low self-esteem, just feeling blah, stuck kind of energy, like trapped and bound kind of energy. Three of pentacles and the three of cups. So, and then the 10 of cups, what the heck's going on here? So I feel like, I, I do feel like you tried to work out with this person. You've tried to come together numerous times to try to have a good time and work it out. I do feel like it was a 10 of cups situation here at one time, probably for a very long time, very happy home family, children, everything here, pets. But for some reason there was a disconnect. People went in their separate corners here with the hermit energy, trying to figure out what do we do with this. Again, mental entrapment. Again, we have the Eight of Swords. Uh, do we have the Eight of Swords? Oh, no. I'm thinking of something else. The Eight of Swords here. So, you know, being stuck in the head about, you know, what happened in this situation and uh, trying to figure it out here. <clears throat> okay. So we have, let's see, we have Virgo. We have Capricorn twice here and over there. We have Gemini there. We have Leo. Leo again here. Taurus. Uh, Gemini Virgo. Aries. Libra Gemini Aquarius. Leo Sag Aries. Cancer. So those are the other signs that I see. So I do see you need to make a decision here about probably ending a long-term relationship or commitment marriage or something like that. So you can get out of this energy this low vibrational stuck um, blah kind of energy and you can just move on with your life to more new exciting passionate things getting you know and your person's waiting for you to communicate to them exactly here uh, about this wow okay all right so let's get some extra messages with this deck uh, Pisces I do ask Pisces, if you're new, you can check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out on any readings. 
and uh, you'll get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So let's see, Pisces, let's get some more messages for Pisces about this connection, please. Thank you so much for Pisces. Some more messages for Pisces. See, within the next few weeks, so you really need to make up your mind here uh, within the next few weeks, so... Okay, what else for Pisces? I think your person's only going to wait for so long. Success here. So I think whatever you, whatever you decide, whatever you tell this person, and then we have within the next few months. So this could be going, have been going on for months now. And now it's like in the next few weeks, you really need to make up your mind. And I feel like whatever you do moving forward, you're very successful. I think, you know, whatever the situation is, if you're trans transitioning out of a connection, relationship, marriage, or something here, because we do have Taurus here, which is about marriage, with the Hierophant, um, I think everything will go smoothly. So if you're stressed and worried about how this is going to go, is it going to be a nightmare, especially with the Tower here, I think everything will be fine. So you don't really have to worry here with the Nine of Swords. All right, so let's see. Let's see, or maybe you're wanting out of a relationship and you're afraid to tell your person. And maybe your person kind of intuitively knows it's coming to an end, but they're not saying anything, but they're secretly wanting out too, but they're waiting for you to say something. So, I mean, a couple different scenarios here. So, yeah, no need to worry. And I just said that there's no need to worry um, about this. Everything, I think, will go over smoothly if you're worried about ending this or whatever here. Abundance. So you will have abundance coming into you in the future. I feel Pisces. Once you move on and get unstuck out of the situation and move on with your life with the chariot energy and you have new fiery, passionate, exciting ventures, whatever here, relationships is coming in for you in the future. So there's no need to worry or stress about what your future looks like, I feel. Pisces. Okay, Pisces, so best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.